Hey guys, today we're going to do a real quick tour of my sister's front yard. You can see we have a little pantry here for the neighborhood. This is a sh shalopsis, I think. Its common name is desert willow. You can see it's getting ready to bud, there's, or to bloom. It will stop moving on us. There's little buds there. This is a new bed. You can see a little bit of greenery from both ends. It's just a couple small little pomegranate starts we did last year. So this is a flower bed that we started last year at the end of the season. Uh, there's nothing too crazy going on here yet. She does have a couple established roses up there in the front. And you can see we lined her walkway with a flower bed and she's got a nice little plum cherry tree there. Uh, we did put some irises that are done, some daylilies. You can see I have some hardy hibiscus, the herbaceous kind that dies down to the ground. There's some hyacinths that bloomed. Uh, there's a Rosa Sharon. Now remember, I do start most of my stuff from cutting, so her yard was no exception. Most of the stuff are copies from my yard, although, like I said, there are a few things that she's got that I don't. Uh, here we have some grape hyacinth that have done their thing, some daffodils. Uh, here we have on both sides of this, their naked lady or belladonna lilies. I ordered them three years ago. We've yet to see a bloom. They are big bulbs, but I don't know what happened. Uh, we come out each side of the walkway. You can see we do have a little bit of landscaping between the street and her house. Just some peak blooming yuccas. Uh, here again, like I said, we just mirrored the walkway. It does have uh, plants on both sides. We just gonna walk through the flower bed. I know we shouldn't. I did put yellow and orange daylilies, two different types. And you can see there's another grouping of some hardy hibiscus, the rose of Sharon type. Another miniature rose. Like I said, it does work here. So this one actually is three different varieties planted next to each other. That's how it came in the bucket. A little volunteer tree from the plum cherry behind us. And this is a crepe myrtle. We tried digging them out a couple years ago, and I guess we didn't get big enough fruit stalks and they died. But this one came back, you can see. It's about five feet tall. And then, over here we do have some things popping up that looks like a Mexican petunia that I put last year. There are a couple things like this, you can see is a swamp hibiscus. There's another one coming up there. She did have a whole bunch of irises already do their thing. These are dwarf. They only get to be about two feet tall with the bloom stalk. And there's another tree that I grew from a pit in my yard. I'm pretty sure it's a nectarine, though it hasn't produced fruit. Uh, another mallow. A couple of these, what I tried to do here, I don't know if probably won't be able to see it. There's another one. I tried to zigzag them or stagger them and make a hedge. Uh, it will be herbaceous so it'll get cut down in the fall. There's some more daylilies. They alternate with yellow and orange. You can see we have some gladiolas. She likes purple just like I do so there's those. Uh, peony, a couple uh, dwarf lilies. No, these ones, like I say, it's funny. I always throw stuff that I have and she gets different. You can see here, there's another mallow just about to pop through. Uh, like I said, last year was her first year for this area, so nothing's too established. Uh, here's a rose. This one's really neat. You can see we have a rock on it. It's a very old type of rose and it does uh, put down roots, so layering is what we're doing there. A couple more of these. Uh, like I say, she gets colors that I don't. These are a very pretty dwarf pink, tropical looking lily. And last year they bloomed and someone stole one. So that's not too pleasant, but I guess they liked it. Here we have a purple queen tritoscantia. Uh, 
petunia. Some little interest by the door. And this is a spider plant. And you can see her welcome sign. It's actually a cool story with like that. It was a fireboard from the house we grew up in when we had to remodel. Uh, I hope this helps. We did put a couple of. Uh, we get away from the dogs. A couple desert friendly or drought tolerant friendly plants here towards the end. You can see it's pretty tall. It does bloom every year. Uh, they do get bigger clusters like this will end up five feet around if you let it. Uh, we do have tricks to keep them smaller. Like here you can see we used rocks. And the last thing here at the end is a Mexican bird of paradise. It does bloom. Yellow clusters of flowers. Really nice. Uh, the reason these are here is because they do take a lot of beating and don't really need water. So uh, a couple things to think about when you don't have irrigation or a hose that'll reach. I uh, hope this helps and gives you a little insight as to what we did to my sister's yard last year. She didn't have a walkway up to her door, which is the main issue. And of course, I saw an area to plant. Uh, we will do updates, and the flowers by the door are her Mother's Day gift. She doesn't know yet. Hopefully, she likes them. Here's a view of a rose to end it. Thank you for watching, and happy Mother's Day.